everyone. So my name is Bailey Thomas. I am a sophomore at Brescia and I'm choosing social work because of how I grew up. I grew up with a single mom. It was me, my sister, and my mom. Uh, my mom was in a very abusive relationship so we moved in with my grandparents. So we know what it feels like to be under the poverty line and it's nothing new to us. And with that comes low expectations that children who grew up like I did don't really mount to anything. Um, they don't go on to be big CEOs or even have a college degree. They just expect to go into a trade or a high school degree. Um, and I want to show kids that, like me who grew up like me that it is possible to do anything as long as you put your mind to it and you block out what everyone else is saying about negative uh, views. Um, and to be a professional social worker, I think you help those who are oppressed and vulnerable. And by vulnerable, I mean the families that social workers are helping put everything on the line, their pride, their putting everything on the line just to help their family, which is very sensitive to a lot of people. And I like to think that social workers um, impact a person's life. I want to say for the better, but the way that social workers kind of get deceived are negative. Um, I ex when I tell people I'm going into social work, they expect me to go to CPS and take children out of their homes, which that is not what I'm wanting to do. And I don't think, I think that the social work profession is kind of getting a bad rep. Um, so I want to change people's outlooks on social work and outlooks on certain situations. Like social workers help those who need it. Like that's our whole profession is to help people. And I want to change people's outlook on how people their certain their situations. Like some people may say that those who live on food stamps and the government are lazy, but I can attest to the fact that they are not. It's just the lack of opportunity that is out there for them. Also think that social workers help solve problems. Um, to us, it may be the world's, that we're solving the world's problems, but it's not necessarily like that. Um, helping one person, to me, is that's all I need. As long as I can change one person's life for the better, my job is complete. And, but I hope to change several people's lives and help them succeed no matter their situation. Um, going on to my career goals, I want to be a child and family therapist. I want to start in an um, office where I can grow and really learn um, and eventually owning my own practice. So with my own practice, I would like to hire therapists with different forms of therapy. And by that, I mean one with AA or NA experience, with domestic or divorce experience, nutritional trauma, just different aspects. So we so everyone can come to our office and get all forms of therapy they need. Um, I think letting just talking about your situation can be very beneficial. It kind of it releases a pressure off your chest that just talking about it and getting feedback and advice really does wonders. And a little funny thing that I want to do is have dogs, especially for my practice with, ch with children. I think dogs make the client and the children a lot more comfortable and relaxed to talk to you, um, especially since you're a complete stranger. I think that a dog will definitely calm them down. Um, so volunteer work, my family and I, we volunteer once a month at St. Benedict's Homeless Shelter. I know that doesn't seem like much, but we cook at our house and then we transport it and feed and mingle with the, the uh, residents there. Um, there's about 70 men that we take care of. Um, it, it definitely gave me a better understanding of community. Um, a lot of people from my mom at Sargos, my mom works at Sargo as well. A lot of teachers pitch in and make desserts or they, um, they donate what they can to help us. Um, which is very thoughtful to me. I didn't think that anyone would really want a part of this. And it also humbled me. The very first night I did it, I will never forget that I cried the entire way home because the men there are very, very grateful. They tell us thank you no matter whatever we give them. We could give them bologna sandwiches and they would thank us, thank us and be very grateful. 
And it kind of gave me a new sense of love for helping others. I know that they are not the children that I'm wanting to help, but they are very... Helping them makes me feel good. Um, I get I form new relationships with them. Um, I, I kind of look forward to talking to some, some of them once a month after dinner and we also all kind of hang around and talk and they're very cool people. Um, my strengths, I like to say that I'm organized. Some people may say I have a little bit of OCD, but I think it's organization. Um, I'm an active listener. A lot of people come to me for advice. It just has always been like a habit for everyone. Um, I can communicate very well. I can always know when to ask for help when I need it, um, who to ask and how to ask. Um, I like to say that I'm experienced. I um, want to say that because of how I grew up. I kind of know what it's like to go through a hard childhood. And I want to use that experience for the for the better, especially for the children who don't know what to do like I did. I'm the oldest, so I kind of winged it until my last, um, until I got everything together. And I want to say I'm very empathetic. I'm a very sensitive person. Um, I like I like love and inclusion and equality. Um, but that kind of falls into my weaknesses. I can also be very, I can also be too, too empathetic. Um, I can take a lot of things at, from, even from my school or from Sargo Elementary. Some of the kids, I kind of, it kind of weigh on, weighs on my heart, their situation, and I kind of come home with it. But I think that I can be very empathetic, but I think that as I grow in my career, in my life, I can leave that at work and come home and do my life without worrying too much about my clients. Um, with that being said, I have kind of have trouble saying no, so I can get a very busy workload going, but I've come to realize, especially through college, on when to ask for help and that it is okay to ask for help and to consult with others. Um, I'm also very sensitive to certain topics, um, like with, with rape and just very top very much sensitive topics that don't really get passed around very much like it's all kind of hush hush when the children come around and but as I grow with my life and with my career I really think that I can um make my weaknesses very slim to none as I learn on how to deal with those so I I'm looking to be in the social work program to really just help others and show people that a harsh childhood is just a statistic. Um, yeah. Thank you.